being played out right here at tournaments like these. It's just, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. And sometimes you see the anger, too, when they throw the controller. Of course, oh. emotion-filled, <laughs> yeah. Ups and downs, happiness, sadness. Like, you could be popping off with your whole crew, the whole state jumping up and down, and you got one dude crying tears in the yeah. corner. Like, My favorite, though, when he says, when people, like, look to the back of the crowd, like, how did this happen? Like, as if the crowd knows, like, dude. As the crowd, yeah. yeah. Like, dude, no, we don't know. We were swatching, dude. Yeah, we're yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> the player's like, help me, please. Oh, so he doesn't actually yeah. offer the dark ride. Yeah, he is stopping for the dark ride here. I feel like this would be rough because, like, Giggory Drain could just, like, randomly get you out of the uh, BDR. Right, or... Yeah, BDR, Bad Rooms Rising, you're right. That is, the official, BDR now. that is the official localized term. You're I right. got you're enough right. flame for calling it Nightmare that I call it BDR now. Oh, that's good. It's good. That's good. Yeah, I might just call it Bad Rooms. But anyway, we got field phase play here. Um, Darkrai, uh, definitely a monster in field, but Septel is no slouch. It uh, has options on both ends. You can throw out seeds, traps, yep. do growth mix-ups, whatever he wanted to do. Ooh, he caught him there with stuff the back here. Going into Bad Dreams. Here's our dual phase. So Darkrai, very powerful character in Bad Dreams. You do not want to mess with him. Oh, that's all the Emolga, though. That's going to be confirmed. Smart stuff from Wiser to catch the teleport down to ground with an Emolga to get the speed deal up and a, kill, uh, a combo confirmed there. Not a whole amount of damage, but... I mean, he got rid of Bad nice. Dreams, which is, like, the most important part of that He's exchange. one field, and now he's got duel on his terms, which is definitely something you want. Especially against character like Darkrai. I mean, even this, like, as long as you can keep Darkrai, like, locked down from Bad Dreams, that's the biggest part. Like, you can let Darkrai move a little bit, as long as he's not getting any reinforcement off of it. Mm, caught him there. Yeah, not. With the rips, but not enough to take with the Bad Dreams here. Ooh, he got a full charge counter. We're getting a combo confirm here. Shadowcat looking pretty low here. And Clock also running down. We got an Evoga Punish again. Another speed debuff here. Yeah, I, I just didn't, I'm so off on my mind. I'm by the pick to go to Darkrai. I feel like... His breaks in would have been fine. But it's like, I also feel like Darkrai doesn't have the best of matches versus Sceptile, because Sceptile is very good against zone heavy characters between having a long range command grab. We play such a fast command counter that can tip her. Wow, is Shadowcat yeah. Shadow is not going to pop burst there. Surprisingly, Wise did pop burst, even well, though with the, the clock running that low. It's mostly just to secure the round, because if he gets the burst armor, it significantly lowers the amount of damage Darkrai can do and gets rid of that comeback factor. So sure, you give up burst now, but you take the round later in exchange. And that might come in handy for uh, if he's able to win these field phases, because again, meter comes back really quick if you get field in your favor. But right now, looks like that risk didn't quite pay out because this is going to be a bad dreams transition into dual phase for Shadowcat. Yeah, he's still okay. Like he only took a small chunk of damage, and look at that—he just already got the nice mix up. He has a Molga too, so he can try to play for a good game. Oh wow! Anti-air charge there on the 8Y to get ulti Molga. Yeah, it seems like Wise has been playing really intelligently around Bad Dreams. Hasn't really been afraid. He's able to throw up the right buttons when he needs to. It hasn't actually suffered too much from Bad Dreams. I mean, that's the hard part for Dark Rift. Like, Leech Seed is always going to be a thing, so you have to be careful on where you're standing. Big Drake can randomly pull you out. Leech Storm will pull you out. And Sceptile has enough air carries to do enough hits to make sure you get knocked out of BDR if you're in the air. So that's always going to be, like, the unfortunate scenario for Dark Rite, especially. But if he gets, like, four carries like this, he can just set up Cage, the baby Cage. And now why is it in the position where he has to force? Right. Okay, we gotta detect out of there, but there's gonna be a CADC4. Oh, nice. He's gonna get caught by Emoga. Nope, there's gonna be a block there. And we got some pressure. He's gonna backdash out of there. Ooh, catch him again. Finally, Shadowcat's getting off some really nice confirms here. Good damage takers back to field phase. Bad Dreams is gone, but there is only eight seconds left on the clock. Shadowcat just needs to keep Wise away. Ooh. He caught him with a rift, and there's gonna be back X to take that round. We're going to round three here. The good nice thing game. for Shadowcat was that he was able to hold on to his burst the entire time, so he didn't have to spend that and go into round three at a deficit. Like, now he actually has a resource lead. Exactly. And that was the risk that um, uh, Wise you know, had to yeah. consider running there when he popped burst at the end of round one to secure that round. Now it looks like the, the meter play has turned to Shadowcat's favor there by the way the second round had went. So that was an interesting risk that uh, Wise went for. It didn't seem to pay off totally. I mean, he'll be close to burst. As long as he can try and, like, keep this field phase as even as possible, he'll be fine. But then he's actually just going to win it. Yeah, he's going to whiff punish back X with Emoga. Very nice patience there to try to bait out the back X. Definitely a, a predictable Ooh. move that Darkrai wants to go for in field phase. So something you should be looking to punish if you can. You know, he's just trying to look like for potential Giga Drain. Giga but Drain he's cancels, baking him out. Baking him out. Baiting him out. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he's, like, trying to cancel to so uh, Shaka will overcome out on a bunch of, like, in Leaf Blade and just get the confirm onto Giga Drain. But Shaka isn't really having any of it. Ooh, hit him with the JA into JY. Alright. Ooh, gonna actually not the burst. Gonna keep himself in the corner. Now he has to deal with BDR burst and Magikarp potentially. 
So we got Magikarp coming out first, already in bad dreams here. This is going to be looking rough for Wise. Wise is going to pop burst here. Magikarp is activated and gone. Ooh, no. But he's going to be caught by 2x. No confirm there. Oh, oh you got to catch him. That no. is going to be a crit burst attack off of Septa. It's going to do tons I... of damage, but 15 seconds left on the clock, and Shadow Cat still has meter all the way. I don't know if he meant to commit to that dark pulse, because he didn't have that many orbs from what I saw. I think he only had like one or two. So that kind of like may have been a misinput that looked a little weird. I'll have to like double take on that. But now you have to be careful because Wise could potentially get this if he gets close enough. Right. The, the health disparity isn't that much, oh. but yeah, Shadow that's Cat's gonna be, gonna be able to keep Wise out. Oh, caught by the rift. And he's gonna be able to back Y him away, and that's going to be it. Rise had to panic a bit there, can't hold shield forever if you're getting timed out. So I don't even think he realized the timer until it was like already flashy. He was yeah, like, oh crap. Way too late. Very unfortunate there. First game going to Shadow Cat there. Good play. From the uh, the dark rye, especially since like uh, uh, it's it's good for him they didn't break composure after Wise was dealing well with bad dreams so much during the beginning of the yeah. set. Wise has had absolutely no problem with bad dreams whatsoever. But as a transition, Shadow Cat let his composure stay. He's like, I'm gonna play this game the way I want to. I'm gonna apply my pressure, throw up my two X's, throw up my rips, and eventually work out into his favorite. There you go. Getting nice next game. Sticking with the set tile, of course. I don't think Wise plays any other character. <laughs> but, oh, nice. Of course, I mean, if you get the win on Dark Ray, not going to switch off that either, so we're going to see the same character. Unless you want to give up the game. <laughs> if you go around flex that hard on your opponent, Ooh. that'd be the tilt here, right? That would be the tilt. <laughs> <laughs> but you might tilt yourself too if you lose that game. You're like, why did I switch? <laughs> <laughs> you know, much slower field pitch from Wise still. This time he is working his way a bit oh, more. Getting caught by the back yeah. white again. We're getting bad dreams. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate situation because like now I'm not sure how Wise plans to deal with this. Amolga hasn't really been helping him out that much because he's just been getting back wide every time. Or back, excuse me, I forget which one it is. And now he's stuck in the corner. Dark Pulse is an option just for a lot of chip. Oh, Ooh, jumped nice. over from that commit there. Is it him with the J1? Really nice confirm. Going back to field phase. No bad dreams anymore. Only half meter on Shadow Cat currently. Yeah, then Wise is actually pretty close. I think if he gets another field phase, he might just have meter. Which he wouldn't even necessarily need to use unless, never mind, because he's going to lose right now. Yeah, he's going to lose field phase right here, and that's going to be Shadow Cat now having meter. Let's see if Shadow Cat's going to go on the Omega offensive by popping meter. He's going to use Magic Carp. There's going to be the burst activation as well. Tons of pressure. Wise in a scary situation. Teleports in <laughs> and out of the corner. Absolutely ridiculous. You put him out of the corner. Oh. Going for the command group. Tries to attack with the 8x, but we have Magic Carp. Oh, nice. Goes over the Dark Post with the uh, JX. There's only four seconds left on the clock. This is going to be Wise's round. Yeah, he just. Oh, he's oh, that bag. I like it. bag into the leaf store. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. That's such a good oh, patience God. from Wise. That like, was definitely a very favorable round for Wise there. He was just waiting out and he's tech the command grab at the right time, got caught by Magic Carp and wasn't even phased. That's such a hard tech to get to because you never know when it's coming. You just have to literally wait and call it out. So the hope for the best mind there. on Wise right now is super big brained. <laughs> he's got full meter and Shadow Cat's got basically none. Yeah, but Shaka is kind of running away with the seal a little bit. He's already taken a lot of damage. He's already at 325, and it's only been field phase. It's been the only one field phase thus far, yeah. And the longer field phase goes, it's so much better for Shadow Kick, because Shadow Kick does not have meter. So the more he can build here, the more he can just run away with it. Yeah, there's a, there's a back X there, and that actually didn't take us to do it for any confirm. It just knocked him away. Probably two minutes. Which I think is what Shadow Kick um, actually wanted at that point. Right. Because I how much health fun. Wise is missing now. And what. That field phase worked a lot more in his favor. Jumps, no punish on the heater, no, just simply jumps into go for any J wire initially, or JA rather. The nice grab there, we're going back to field. This is where Shadow Cat might want to be more often than not, even though he obviously doesn't have yeah. bad dreams in this phase. The amount of zoning and projectile play you can do with things like rips and traps, uh, popping into the bubbles and whatever, um, is definitely a lot more helpful and a lot better suited to dealing with Sceptile. Yeah. There's an Amoga call out. And if you've seen anything from the first game, it's that Wise actually doesn't know how to approach this field phase very well yet. Like, he's not sure how to get in. He's taking him a long time, yeah. which is great for Shadow Cat. Yeah, he's getting time to... Okay, there yeah. is that one field phase when we're going in right here. He has meter. Oh, There's going to be a Magic Girl call. There's three seconds left on the clock. Two seconds. Let's do one second. He's going to pop. Wait. First here. Oh, no. Easy. Shadow Cat jumped over. He oh! got caught. Shadow Cat got caught. And now, with only 0. 0.75 seconds left on the clock, this is Wise's round. He ran away with that round. He almost got to teleport behind, and unfortunately for Shao Kei, it was just a little too slow. But man, that was such a clutch from Wise. Like, he was so far behind in those field phases to actually just somehow get in and then be able to, um, what's it called? To just secure the round with burst. I thought there wasn't enough time to even buffer burst. 
I thought he was trying to yeah. pop burst just I so he could like, get over, the health yeah. lead. Four seconds and maybe the buff, but he buffered it. And then the burst animation is going to play out. Time didn't run. 0.75 seconds left on the clock. Super lucky there. Catching the dark right jump. Oh, Ridiculous. Now we're 1-1. One, one Shadow here. Cat definitely does not feel it now. He's switching prior to that break. So I don't think he's going to mirror. We'll see. Maybe he felt like I've won a game with Darkrai. I almost won the second game there. I can place a little better. Maybe I can stick with Darkrai. We'll see. I don't want to... I, I think the chances are he can stay Darkrai. Oh, there so it is. Did. They, there it is. I thought he was going to switch for sure. I was like, he just... That uh, felt like a very, like, shotcut thing to do after, like, getting stolen <laughs> game from. Game two, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like the lead that Wise had was pretty much non-existent actually yeah. in that second game really shadow cat had the advantage there for the majority of it it was just that one final play Ooh. okay i actually like to switch a lot to mimic we have the mimic switch here a uh, mimic underrated it gets rid of it well it does attack down and synergy down which is something subtile feeds off of once he gets the burst and burst is the scariest part about this to you shadow cat the mickey just like counters that completely and look at that look at this field phase it's just crazy field phase of what is wise going to be able to do he's going to throw out the uh leaves here and that's probably his best option otherwise he just has to wait at mid-range there's gonna be a mocha call and on block now he's got block pressure he dashes away probably not what he wants to be doing here against dark ride and the good part for a while is he's actually building more synergy right now so sure he's taking a bit of damage but he's not taking as much as it was last game where he was just teething hit after hit after hit but Chowcat's still trying to make it work he's getting a lot of he's actually caught up with how much abilities he's been using so why is it gonna have to be careful because now he's taking Ooh, straight hits like this Oh, Tech, charging that back X. Dashes away. Terrifying. Wow, this is some ridiculously long field phase play here. And they're both potentially going to get burst and keep going. Oh, never mind. And we're Ooh. staying in field. I like Look this decision. Like, why is this taking so much extra damage? And you're still near full health. You might as well just milk it as much as you can. Oh, God, on well, the back X. Are we going to do? Yes, we yeah. finally are. We got bad dreams activated. Shadow Cat's got a pretty commanding health lead right now. But 300 health oh, no. catches him. Oh, here's the setup. Mimikyu too. setup. Tries to grab. Nope. Try to attack the grab. He's going to get hit by Mimikyu and it's still going to be confirmed with attack down and synergy down. They should just go for a Leaf Storm. <laughs> Not punished, but this going to be Dark Wolf. It's going to go. Wow. It's not even going to take it, but he's actually going to get timed out. I think that actually helps because now you don't get this uh, cheer bonus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's ridiculous. And that did, as you said, that would help. Not help with the uh, the cheer bonus thing. And crazy. Chaka just made that round look so easy, though, after a certain point. Right, it's just, let me play field phase. I don't care he's building meter. Let me just play field phase. Eventually, I can get my damage and I can get my confirm. We'll go to do when I'm 300 health over here. And the worst part for Wise, like, even though he teched the grab, he still had to take the Mimikyu hits, or is he there to take the bad dreams? It's like, yeah. well, I lose here either way. <laughs> nice. That was oh, nice to first. Yeah. It is for perfect for Wise, too, because now that he's in field, he doesn't have to approach if he doesn't want to. Sure, he probably wants to, like, to get out of field. But it's not nearly as threatening as it was last round. Right, where like Shadow Cat had the advantage prior. Yeah. Now it's that he's got the advantage. He can bait it out. He did get the leaves heading into that leaf blade. Now he's taken no damage thus far just yet. Okay, nice eight white charge there to get away on Team Mulder. He's gonna be on shoot. Like, at first, I wasn't really feeling the Emolga pick because it was kind of just always getting, like... Beaten out yeah. for the most part. But there are times, where really crucial moments, where it does apply shield pressure. Yeah. Sometimes Shadow Kid doesn't opt to beat it and just holds holds the block there. doesn't want to commit to a move yet. But also got forcing, like, a reset it. as well because, like, you make Shadow Cat have to react to it. So you kind of get, like, okay, we're back to even neutral because Shadow Cat had to deal with this. Oh, but very wow. nice. Nice hang, JY there. Even though there's clones trapped, everything set right there. He had to move back after the activation on his... Uh, uh, 4A, but even then, still keep that calm, cool, and collected, and took that round as well. Shadowcat kept burst. He decided not to use it at all, so technically a small advantage here for Shadowcat right now, but the why damage is it's going close. to rack up. This advantage is going to go even more. There's a lot of chip damage there from Dark Pulse. Back X's. Activates. We got Claws. Oh, wow, no. caught with all of it. Oh, he's just going to opt to the duel. Yeah, we're going back to duel here. I think this makes sense. You don't want to keep it in field now because you already have burst. And if you keep it in field, you potentially let Wise win it and get burst himself. But if you keep him in the corner and do all this damage, it won't matter. The first time he used Bad Dreams 8A right there, but he used it against Leaf Blade. Very smart. We got the Mimikyu set up again. Tries to go for the command grip. Oh, yeah, he's going to get hit out of it. There it is. Wise just has Ooh. to hold that. What an incredible setup. And now he has to deal with trying to get in, but he also doesn't do that much damage, and there's only 37 seconds left on the clock. So now yeah, Wise yeah, on Dark this Rise huge got countdown full game. Meter. Wise has to somehow get meter and pop burst and go for some really crazy inward plays if he wants to win this. Gets this Leaf Blade punish with back Y and Shadow has to go for a burst attack confirm a field phase, but doesn't matter if he got that game. And also that round was so hard for Wise to even consider winning because not only did he have to get an infield with attack down, he was at like 
twenty health versus Shadow Cat's like five twenty, <laughs> and it's like okay, it's I still have to do five hundred damage in like thirty seconds, and Sylvie approached Darkrai at the same time. <laughs> it's like yeah, good luck, dude. Like if he had gone, it would have been amazing, and it probably would have been a huge mental like boom for both sides. Right. But unfortunately, huge just wake caught. up call and uh, for for Shadow Cat, yeah. and it'd be a like, massive confidence boost for Wise. Like I can do this. I can break through this wall. But unfortunately, that's not how it worked out for Wise just yet. Now Shadow Cat is up 2-1 in the set. Shadow Cat is one game away from moving on to losers and finals. Shadow Cat definitely making me eat, worry, eat my words on this uh, Dark Ride pick. I was a little concerned <laughs> because of the matchup, but no, he is making it work so well and so easily in fields too. Like I like this field would be a lot closer, but no, I feel just Shadow Cat just had the number on Wise on this field phase. But even then, sometimes uh, some rounds, Wise is able to get like a good early lead, a good early field win, just like we saw the second round of last game, where Wise nearly perfected Shadow Cat in yeah. that round. So it's not like this isn't any sort of back and forth. This isn't. This is not one side. This definitely there's some back and forth element to it here. But Wise is struggling once he is in disadvantage to stop Shadow Cat from wailing on all that pressure and getting out. Yeah, that's also like the issue, right? It's like you got one round, but then immediately got adapted on. So that's like also the terrifying part. It's like where did it go wrong and where did it go right? It's hard to look at just one round when every other round is kind of like, well, this feels bad in the setup again. Looks like Wise every time is off to tech the grab just to take the Mimikyu and the attack down and synergy down. It's gonna pierce oh, no. with Dark Pulse on the counter, and that is going to be that round. Shadow Cat almost perfected it in there. Took very, very little damage at 510 HP. It just Shadowcat's feels one like, round away. It just feels like Shadowcat has a download now. It feels like... This is a big struggle for Wise yeah. here. Like, Wise has to, like, somehow change his game plan in one round, and then win three in a row just to have a chance. Or, like, win this one, and then, like, three in a row just to get, like, to game five. Uh, it's, it's risky right now. He's, Wise is a huge hill to climb right now. Not impossible, but a very daunting gauntlet of Shadowcat gameplay to deal with if he wants to make this run back. So far, the health advantage is in his favor. He's been able to see ADC whatever, or otherwise get around and like detect right here. Take the bit of damage now. He's also keeping Shadowcat back towards the corner, so he doesn't have to make it up as much distance by playing back Ooh, and forth. There forced. are the leaves. He's gonna be waiting on the leaves. Oh no. Oh, they got hit out. He had the read. Back. Confirm. Going to duel. Yeah, Shadowcat's got bad dreams and health lead and Mimikyu. And Spears. <laughs> you know, he has it all right now. Ooh, good trade. That's such a good trade. Caught him though. Let's go for grab there, but he doesn't want the mix-up. He's gonna pop burst. Yeah, it makes, makes sense. He doesn't want to give up BDR, especially when he has the lead. He's already in burst. He might as well just go for it. He's one round away. Shadow Cat might be just itching for this W right here. He's, I'm not gonna let anything stop me. I'm not gonna prolong this any longer. I'm going to take this again, going for the setup. But this time, Wise can deal with it because he has burst activation. Now, Shadow Cat no longer has burst, but he is in uh, bad dreams here. He's got the health lead. Oh. Ten seconds left on the clock. He has such a big grab for Wise, he really yeah. needed that, especially now. That he has so five long. seconds. He That's... still's got the health lead on Dark He needs to go in. He needs to go in. One second. What's it going to be? Oh. That's the grab! Is that... That's enough. That's going to be it. That's going to be it. Oh, wow. Wise just barely got that round. He is still in this. He's still kicking. Nothing like zero seconds on the clock. That's not the first time <laughs> Wise has done that. <laughs> wow, what a clutch master here. Like just a heart attack on his shoulders, apparently. Like, oh my god, you have a nerve wrack. I was like, Wise, please, let's go. Is it over for Wise? Is this it? But no, Wise is able to bring it back all the time. And yeah, this time around though, Shadow Cat not forced back into the corner. Gets and a little Shadow's bit like, too. okay, maybe I slowed down. I played too impatiently, and that's why I wasn't able to secure that win. But Wise is like, you know, I can I can still play this field phase. I'm, I'm learning this field phase a bit here and there. He got the Emoga. Unfortunately, damage, he also has lost like half his health. That is also that's true. <laughs> Very true. This field phase is, is looking a bit rough. But he has forced back into the corner, so Wise will probably get to close it eventually. But Shadow Cat is not making it easy. Yeah, riffs. <laughs> Those riff setups are making Wise having to back off all the time. Shadowcat's keeping like a shield at all times. Oh my, his shield's being oh, no, red. There, there was just a leaf blade going to block. That almost oh, wow. broke. I was surprised it did yeah. not break. It was but very that close is to breaking. Beautiful yeah, for Wise though. Oh, oh no! tries to go for the Giga Drive, but gets caught by the eight Y into a Dark Pulse, and now we're going to Bad Dreams. This is really, really bad for Wise. He's too far from Meter to try to get any time soon. There's a Giga Drain cancel. There is a crit counter. But there's only 18 seconds left, and he needs to somehow make up this health lead. Oh, hit him with last That's how you start, though. You can't run away now. Shao okay, you have to stay close. Oh, hit him with a JY. It goes for a 2 right after. Tries oh, to go no! for a Leaf Storm, but he's going to get caught by a Shadow Cat. Confirm this combo is going to go on for a while. Hey, this not is be looking time. like it's going to be it for Wise. Yeah, he burned so much time with that combo. I think it was like 9 seconds. 
congratulations to Shadow Cat for moving on to top three here at Eye of the Storm 2 in Omaha, Nebraska. He's going to be up against Eclipse. We'll see if Shadow Cat can keep the Eclipse win train going.